He is one of the leading scientists of the 20th century. He's considered to be the father of modern genetics, and he's true to his faith. He discovered the chromosome mutation that causes Down syndrome. Jerome Lejeune was one of the first people in the world who promoted the treatments and care for these children and defended their right to live, something that possibly cost him international recognition and even a Nobel Prize. There were even demonstrations against him. There was a lot of belligerence against him for being a defender of human life. All this experience is told in a new film, Jerome Lejeune, to the least of these, my brothers and sisters. Si vous demandez aux généticiens, examinez les chromosomes de cet enfant, et s'ils sont anormaux, je le supprimerai, vous nous demandez de jouer très exactement le rôle de bon spilat. It was one of Lejeune's greatest sufferings to know that his discovery would be the cause of so many abortions. This probably strengthened his fight for these people's defense, that his discovery was used for the exact opposite purpose that he had intended. The film also contained shocking testimonies. On a su qu'il existait un professeur spécialiste de ces enfants-là. Ah ben j'en pleurais. Notre joie d'être en fait, que notre enfant soit à faire reconnu. Grâce. Jérôme Lejeune was the first president of the Pontifical Academy for Life, which started in 1994 as an initiative by John Paul II. The Pope was also a close friend of Lejeune who gave him comfort and support in the most difficult moments of his career.